I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to the latest in our series of CCNA 5-Minute Practice Exams. Today we're going to concentrate on switching, but also throw an OSPF question into the mix as well. As you take a look at some of the links we have to other study resources for you, just a quick reminder on the format, we do go through these five questions very quickly, so you may want to pause the video for a moment or two and consider your answer. And then we will go back through the questions, and not only will I give you the answer, but I will also give it to you and show it to you on live Cisco routers and switches wherever possible. So let's dive right into question one today. What configuration or command enables VTP pruning? Let's take a look at question two. Once you enable pruning, what VLANs cannot be pruned, if any? When you run the switch port no negotiate command, what protocol or service are you effectively disabling? What exactly are you disabling there when you're turning off negotiation? Question four, what single command will allow you to change the speed of the first 12 ports on a Cisco switch to 10 meg? This is an important command for the real world too. It's gonna to save you a lot of typing for those of you who don't like to type. And even if you like to type, it's gonna save you a lot of time. And we all like to save time. Question five, your multiple choice question for today. Consider the administrative distance of a route that's redistributed into OSPF and then identify the correct statement or statements. Maybe more than one is true there. Okay, so let's go back through the questions then. We'll start with question one. What configuration or command enables VTP pruning? And I'm gonna show you first off, show VTP status. A lot of helpful information in here, but right in the middle you can see the domain name and that the pruning mode is enabled. So it's enabled on the switch right now. I'm going to show you how to turn it off and then turn it back on. But please keep in mind that it is disabled by default. So you simply go into global config mode and it's no VTP pruning. You get a little confirm there that pruning has been switched off. And of course to turn it right back on, it's VTP pruning. So that is how you turn pruning off and on. Now what VLANs can't be pruned, if any? your default VLANs and remember we talk about VLAN 1 a lot because of course that's our native VLAN for our data but we also have these other numbers up here we have to be aware of 1002 through 1005 you may never use them frankly uh, they're specialty VLANs you can see they're used for FIDI and token ring but you do need to keep those in mind for your exam so let's go down to question three. When you run switch port no negotiate command, what are you disabling? And let's go ahead and run that on one of our ports. Or at least look at iOS help, because it doesn't exactly say what's going on here, but switch port no negotiate iOS help tells us the device will not engage in negotiation protocol on this interface. It's talking about DTP, the dynamic trunking protocol. And there may be specialty situations where you want to turn that off and save just a little bit of overhead. Question four, what single command will allow us to do this? Well, we want to use the interface range command for this. And it can be a little tricky at first because you have to watch how you put your dashes in here. And I'll, I'll try to mess this up on purpose. Shouldn't be hard. Let's if you try to go into the range that way, you go get your little carrot there showing that you've made an error. You have to keep a space here. So it's a little tricky, but now anything I put in here, and you'll notice the prompt goes to config IF range. Anything I enter here will apply to all of those ports. So if I wanted to change the speed to 10, 100, or auto to force one of the first two or enable auto config, then it would apply immediately to all ports. I've got uh, four trunks on this particular, whoops, excuse me. I have four trunks on this particular switch. If I wanted to put all four into an ether channel, I don't want to type channel group one mode on four times. I just want to type that once I could go into the range and do nine through 12 and apply it all at one time. So again, it's a little tricky to get started, but let's face it, if you want to change the speed on a 24 port switch or a 48 port switch, and you want to do it on all the ports, you don't want to enter all that stuff manually. Use the interface range command. Finally, our OSPF question. The AD of a route that's redistributed into 
OSPF is going to have the exact same AD as the native OSPF routes, if you will. Remember, EIGRP has different administrative distances for internal and external routes, those external routes being the ones that are learned via redistribution. But while OSPF recognizes that route learned via redistribution as an external route, it does not by default change the administrative distance. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your time and your day here to watch this particular video. I invite you out to the bryantadvantage.com slash ccnawebinars.htm. We've got a lot of great free webinars coming up. No credit card, no microphone required, just an hour of your time and a desire to get certified. Thanks again for watching today's video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.